Let me try this again. I just made a video that realized that uh, the camera wasn't facing me. Little casual, 18 year old. Little tropical falls for few holes. Not playing with the snow falls, you better switch now. It's your best option. I would build your own club set. These all suck, but for my purposes here today, we're gonna do this one. Alright. Interesting look. Okay, so here's the basics of cutting. Let's say I want that ball. Mm -hmm. I want my track ball. I, I want the golf ball right now in that bunker over there on the left. Right here. I want it over there, okay? There's a couple different ways to do that. Obviously, these trees over here on the right are in the way from us just taking that the last day straight shot at. You can go from here, which is going to be two turns over. Um, <laughs> sorry, Stacy. <laughs> So two turns over, um, and if you do a full A and a straight two, we are going to be the same. We're just going to do it to show you. Okay? This is what is called a full. You ever hear it called a full? You notice that ball easily made it all the way over there with the, the shot meter there. It showed exactly what I said it was going to be. A, straight two. General rule of thumb on folds is that it's two clicks over. So the harder you want the ball to be, you go two clicks over, pull full, either A, full C, and if it's straight with a thumb shot, it should go the exact distance of the marker and will go exactly two over. So it's about exactly where that ball is. So um, obviously, wind affects it a little bit, bite, roll, release, all that's going to affect the backspin. The key there is that the ball's coming in from this direction. So if you were going into a, a slope of the green like this, and you came in like that, the ball would hit you wrong there. So instead of it going back out towards the ball. Now, let's say you want to get over there also. You want to be in the sand, but you're here. You're aiming here. Now you're going to be talking about that you're essentially going to use, a, you're going to pull back in the direction you want the ball to go. So I want the ball to be over there in the sand, so I'm going to pull back over here on the A. Because this is the line I'm aiming at to get over there. So you got to look at it as that the, between A and 3 is basically you, know, you aiming at the screen. So between the earnest 6 and the 1 to 3. So when I pull back past the halfway mark, more towards A, it's going to go over there to the right. Now, if I hit this straight, if I hit the track ball straight, it's going to start cutting over there right away. So it would bring that tree. That's out, you know, say like 250 yards there. Yeah, bring that tree into play. Uh, because the ball's already been cutting that way. Uh, it's going to already be making its direction. It's, it's been cutting over there. If you need to get around that, that's where you need to push out. So by how much you push out determines how much it's also going to come back in. So if you want to go half and half and get that ball out about this way, it's going to essentially land, I won't say all the way over here, if you go both the same direction, it's going to land more probably to the right, like about, uh, say, where the fringe is off the fairway. So it's going to be like about 60%. So it is going to land over here to the right, but what's going to happen is it's going to go out the same mode that you cut it. So it's theoretically, it should be going to go straight down. So I'm going to cut this to put it in. So if you notice, I was cut quite, quite a bit A, still pushed two, okay, then the bunker. So I'm trying to accomplish for our purposes here. Obviously, normally we want to be in the bunker. Um, so also thing to note about cuts, the more you cut, the more of a cut you put on it, the harder you have to hit it to get it to go the same distance. So the, you have to visualize the ball. You know, this, this ball is going to go 300 yards. If you cut it, it's going 300 yards through its cut. So that means it's going to land at like 285. 
280, 285, something like that. It should be short with the same hit that you would get to with a 300. Um, I said thumb shot. If you use a cut, you have to hit it harder. You know, exponential, I should exponentially hit. You have to hit it a lot harder to be able to hit the same distance. So keep that in mind. So for sake of argument purposes uh, for right now, I'm going to try and uh, kind of give you an idea of like, let's say I just want this ball to be on the right side of the barrel. Right? So I cut maybe a little bit of a A on it, push it out. Notice it kind of cut over there to the right, to the far right part of the barrel. Right? There's not enough wind here to be able to cut this to quite the weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take a shot at this. You would never take it in most cases. You might do this if there was a tree in the way, like on a part three or something, if there's a few of them in town. But if you need your approach shot to get into the green, if you go from right where we're at right now, now you're from north, we're shooting from fairway now, not from a tee box. So we're going to be taking, I'm going to cut a pretty good amount here. We're probably about a little bit more than two thirds. And then I'm going to thumb this a little bit to the right of if I thumb it straight towards one, it'll it's gonna have almost the same effect. The problem is, is that it's gonna cut that way too fast. Whereas if I flip it a little bit to the one, I'll get a little bit extra distance. Actually. Now, I'm gonna use roller release on that, but if you get the gist of what just happened, I know I was perfectly in line with the hole, although I was aimed a little bit there to the right. The amount of cut, you're gonna have to find with that yourself. Um, you're just gonna have to learn it. It's it's not it's not like there's 90 spots in between this. The game kind of registers it. It's like really maybe, we'll say 15 or 20 essential lines. Uh, and then you have the other, the same thing going on. Uh, it is technically infinite, but it's not extremely precise. So it's precise, but not on that part, like not obviously crazy. You know, you're trying to just get close in reality. So, I mean, just to show the, um, the full scenario here. We go full center. I'm going to do this straight. It is not going to make it over the top. Oh, so, if you notice, how it actually went past the two trees. So, same thing here. Okay, let's say we got this shot here. We're, just, we're trying to stay on the fairway. We don't want to, you know what I mean? So we're going to cut this about half. I think just tell the one. That's going to come in nice and neat, right away. So hope that helps. Um, we're, I'm going to be here real quick, though. I'm going to tap in this. We're going to go full two quick, because I can probably teach you something on tropical fall full two. And it's usually directly related to cut shots. So perfect. So we're going to start with, there's basically three ways to get here. One is to go through the gaps in the trees. There's two gaps. There's one, there's straight in front of us, and you can see a gap between trees, and there's two. But that there's no side gap between trees. That gap right there, you want to hit that gap. Nine and a half driver, you can either bite, backspin, whatever. You got to hit it pretty good to keep it in the air long enough. Uh, you'll probably, you might go through the green. Uh, you got to be careful if you cut this way, though, that there's a bush on the back end that you don't touch the last push. Ten and a half drive. Same deal. Um, you cannot use backspin there with a ten and a half drive. You have to bite, release, roll, whatever. A lot of times the roll and release though might be too low and might catch that last, last push. Third option here. Five wood. Ooh, I hate that when it does that micro turn. Five wood. It's three or two yards to the pin. I can backspin. You will hit it with a full A. You know. Oh, caught the one bush take edge. You can see the line on the way that track ball was. That's about. Better look how you're always going to want to get that. I'm seeing that. Uh, I'm going to try that again. Oh, that's not Generally, if you use that five wood shot, you need to be about 300 yards to the pin, about 300 yards to the middle of the green. If you're too close, you'll catch those trees. For argument's sake, we're going to take the nine and a half shot here. It's, this will be my 
probably what I would actually do. If I wasn't just went for the fetus here, that's probably what I should do. <laughs> Ooh, right into the tree. Did you see the slight cut I had on it? Actually, I should have pulled it a little bit off. And in reality, I should have actually probably would have gone less. Trying to do this. Ooh, this. So that's the gaps. I mean, obviously that was a poor representation of what I was trying to have some guidance here. Another tree. Was barely cut. So, obviously, the five was the better option. And then, um, so, the five would obviously you would have been shot bigger and shorter. Like that. Anyway, hopefully that helps. Got any more questions? Let me know. I'm not really doing much tonight, so I can send something over.